Right, there is Sal. Let's play this here. Yes, nice to mole you. Meet you. Nice to meet you, mole. Don't say mole. I said mole. Yes, nice to mole you. <laughs> How big this is. Uh, okay, so my main impression, there are a couple of things. I don't think you need a camera move in this. Yes, nice to mole you. Meet you. Nice to meet you, mole. It's also very, very subtle. So I don't know. It's it, not that it hurts the shot, but at the same time, I don't think we need it in terms of story and in terms of you know what's going on that would maybe enhance the shot. The other thing is, and I'm looking at your email here, and I'm not quite sure what this guy is doing in this shot either. It could be kind of a fun thing if you watch it again, like, oh, that's weird. That's a creepy guy in the bushes. But at the same time, it could also be confusing. <laughs> I don't know. That's my, I'm not sure you need this guy, um, but feel free. I don't know. Let me know in an email what your thoughts are and, and why you put that character in there. I don't see anything in your current email. So maybe we can incorporate that in a, in a different way. My main impression is that I like the idea of him. It's almost like overcompensating with this and getting really, you know, into her personal space. Um, Chris, what are you going to do with her? If she is going to recoil or have like a, a broader reaction or what she's going to do there. But in terms of what he is doing, my main concern is that he has a pose for everything he's saying. Yes, yeah, nice to mull you. So nice to mull you. I don't mind that though. I, mind, I like that he goes forward and like that's like he is so too big like him as a character is huge the flowers are too big his gesture towards her is too big i like that it feels kind of in character meet you nice and then careful here looks into camera so i would gaze that either down or over but then it's kind of like oops i made a mistake and it gets i don't mind that pose it could be potentially more interesting but it's like the second big beat and that's a new pose nice to meet you mole don't say mole and then you have that careful bit of attention right where that uh, aligns there but don't say mole so now we're back into another big pose i said mole and then we have kind of in between into i said mole so i like that you're using the space in terms of he is here we're getting into a bigger move here then he's getting into a straight getting kind of to a bit of a similar position there we're back into this here and then kind of in between so it's kind of like, yeah or nay, I'm just sli I'm curious if there could be something explored where we have just something a bit more interesting in terms of his personality. Like he seems a bit, you might say one note in terms of like broad posing and gestures and stuff that he does. He doesn't, he doesn't seem very interesting to me, but that at the same time, maybe that's also his character trait with all this and just, you know, it's not, he's not that interesting, but to me, it would be like, what if he is like this? And you don't have to do any of this. I'm just I'm just thinking out loud. What if he's like that? Goes into this, which again, I like this. And I think we could potentially even bring up the shoulders more and push that pose. But then... Call you. Meet you. Meet you. I mean, it's, it's less of just that. It could just be a... Meet you where it's... I don't know. Maybe like he still kind of holds the flowers but takes a couple quick steps back. It's like, oh, like, I meet you. Like, he still wants to shore the flowers, but he had to retreat a bit, realizing he made a mistake. Don't meet your mole. Don't say mole. Don't say mole. And then don't say mole. I mean, I kind of see what you're going for with this, but you're also kind of losing his eyes there. But I'm just wondering, since we already have the flowers, he might be able to go back. Let me see if there's another pose. Maybe, like, in between here. So imagine, like, he's... <gasps> Don't say mole. Like, that's a kind of the retreat pose. And then when he says, don't say mole, it could be that he he kind of gets into this, but then imagine we flop it and he is turned away from her, right? So this pose just flopped. Looks down. Maybe he could pick at some of the flowers. It's nice to mole you. Me. So me you is more like taking a couple steps back, steps back like this. It's nice to mole you. Meet you. Nice to meet your mole. And then nice to meet your mole could be almost like something where he does this again, but he opens himself up one arm back, one arm forward to hold the flowers. Call you. Meet you. Nice to meet your mole. Don't say mole. And then the don't say mole is the turn around. I said mole. I don't mind this because he addresses her even though he looks too high here. The question is, is this something where he 
he messes up and then he actually addresses her like, you know, almost in a way of, I tried, I tried to be romantic, but I just messed up and I said it. Or is it something where he says it, you know, to himself or, you know, quote unquote, the audience somewhere? Maybe that could be explored differently at the end, but I don't, I don't mind this. I, I like that, the thing of like, he's basically what I'm rambling about is that he would be trying, but that's kind of his state where he's just very nervous. He can't say it, but he's, he just, he's super nervous. That's why he picks at everything and he keeps him kind of lower, right? He does this big thing of, oh, that was too big. And the rest of it is all that he's hunched over, nervous, looks away, picks at the flowers. And at the very end, he goes, oh, you know what? I'm just going to admit it. I said mole. I said mole and I'm just an idiot. Where like he, he is finally relaxed by realizing I'm just an idiot and I'm just going to tell you. I messed up and that's when he opens up again towards her that's kind of that's kind of what i'm thinking where he's like this gets really big realizes everything was just too big and then the rest is all like oh here maybe almost like what if he puts the flowers all the way up here hey, mole. don't say mole don't say mole or maybe what if he says that don't say mole do we have a passing pose no so maybe maybe the don't say mole is something where he looks away while all the flowers, like he's trying to hide behind the flowers and all you have is eye and brow acting. Like, oh, don't say mole. Don't say mole. I said mole. And then he turns around, like right after that, he turns around. So this move would be a turn into this. I said mole. And that. I don't know if that makes sense. That was a lot of rambling, but I feel like that could be interesting. All right, just to recap, hopefully this into this. Meet you. Meet you. And that would be more in something in that range. Meet you where he's low. He's trying to be almost visually lower than her. Shoulders up. And imagine he's almost like on his tippy toes. Nice to meet you, Mole. Nice to meet you, Mole. Would be, again, a bit more like halfway in between. Or maybe he, he brings out. It's like he opens himself up. He tries again. Again, one hand, maybe. Don't say mole. And then don't say mole is when he turns away from her. Like he realizes, oh, I can't say that. Flowers here, just the eyes. And then he goes, oh. oh, he goes from, he drops the flowers and goes from this to a straight to a turn. I said mole. Into that. And that's that. I don't know. That could be something. I'll probably also lower the fence a little bit. Give her maybe a more cheated profile towards us so we can really see this where the mole is. You know, something where we can have a bit of a, a bigger view or it could be like this and when he gets closer to her she turns away from him kind of oh that was a bit too big and that also reveals the mole like in its full profile like a massive mole anyway i'll leave it at that it's a bit rambly so hopefully it's somewhat useful uh let me know in an email your thoughts what you want to take from this or nothing or how you want to proceed uh, and that's it thanks all right there's an email, you can sign up, you can start whenever you want, you can submit whenever you want, you get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right, thank you.